Hello friends, today I'm building a box out of this gorgeous piece of walnut. So, lass uns anfangen! The first step is to chop the lumber into pieces. I'm using a miter saw to do so. The saw blade is set to a 45 degree angle. The dimensions of the box will be about 32 by 15 cm. That means that I will need two pieces that are 32 cm and two pieces that are 15 cm. All edges need to have a 45 degree angle. For the lid cut another piece that is 32 by 15 cm. This time do not cut the 45 degree edges. For the bottom I'm using a very thin piece of walnut that I will insert into grooves that I will cut at a later point. This piece of walnut I cut to the dimensions of 30.5 by 13.5 cm. When you pick the piece for the top, make sure you pick a piece that has a lot of character. I'm in my crafts room and I'm using tuck tape to close up the holes to pour the resin. Make sure the tuck tape is attached very well to the wood, you do not want to have any leakage. I'm using Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. Please wear a respirator or work in a well ventilated area. Also, wear some gloves. This one has a 1 to 1 ratio. And like always, let's have some fun while mixing. It's time for the resin dance! For the pigment, I'm adding blue mica powder. I love the metallic look of the mica powder. Pour the resin in all of the cracks of the wood. Use a heat gun to pop any bubbles. Leave the resin to dry overnight. It's the next day now and the resin has fully dried. Let's take the wood back into the workshop. The next step is to use the planner to take off any excess resin. After the board is smooth, use your table saw to clean up the edges. Those pieces are all done. Remember in the beginning as I said I will cut some grooves for the bottom plate? Well, it's time now. To do so, set your table saw blade to a height of about 5 mm. Set the fence to about 5 mm from the blade. Carefully slide the wood over the blade. You will end up with a groove on the bottom. Depending on the thickness of the bottom blade, you might have to set the fence back to get a thicker groove. This groove will support the thickness of the board I'm using. The next step is to dry fit the box to make sure everything fits together. This is not as easy as it seems. And it fits. For the small imperfections in the wood that were difficult to fill with the resin, I'm using Starbond Instant Adhesive. Using the accelerator, the glue dries within seconds. The next step is to put on some good jams and sand the pieces smooth. I'm starting at 120 grit and work my way down to 320. Once the pieces are all smooth, it's time for the glue up. Doing the glue up right is very important to not end up with big gaps in the corners in the end. One of the easier way to accomplish that is to use an angle strap. Like always, I'm including all the links to the products I'm using in the description below. Spread the glue onto the sides and into the grooves. Then assemble the box. Since the box is so tall, it would be great to have two angle straps, but I only have one, so I'm using clamps for the top. Let the glue fully dry. The glue has fully dried and it's time to take off the angle straps and the clamps. I would say the box came out pretty nice. I had some glue that squeezed out at the corners. I used a chisel to remove it and then the sander to sand over again. For the next step, I'm going to need a very sharp chisel. So I made sure I sharpen my chisel 
To do so, I'm using my Carrier Professional Knife Sharpening Stone. Make sure you soak the stone in water before you use it. Use the attachment provided to get the right angle for the chisel. Let's see how sharp it is. Perfect. To attach the top, I'm using small black hinges. To make the hinges fit properly, you will have to cut out a little groove. The best way to do so is by using a chisel. Use a pencil to draw the shape of the hinge onto the box. Then use a chisel to clean out the shape. Press the lid against the box to copy the location of the hinges onto it. Then use the chisel to make the groove. To attach the hinges, make sure you pre-drill the holes. Then use a screwdriver to tighten the screws. And the hinges are attached. The next step is to apply the finish. Like always, I'm using liquid hydration wood oil. Spread a generous amount of the oil onto the box and rub it in. Let the wood soak in as much oil as it wants. Then come back and take off any excess. Look how the wood finish brings out the natural beauty of the wood. Once the wood has taken in all the oil at once, it's time to apply Moose Magoo's wood butter. Only apply a small amount in circular motions. After a few hours, come back and buff. And we are fertig! The box is a great storage solution for a lot of things like firearms, watches, or even lip gloss. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tschüss!